Uh, what we're here uh, in Washington, D.C. is that we wanted to be able to share and shed some light on uh, things that we need to uh, address to the nation. One is that we're the Navajo Nation Dependents of the Uranium Workers Committee. Uh, we are a uh, grassroots organization from the Navajo Nation. And our primary purpose today here is to uh, request the federal government to uh, allocate funds for an epidemiological health study on the dependence of uranium workers, uh, which are mothers and children. Now, um, we're beginning to see some health issues, health problems on the Navajo Nation that we feel that is because of the uranium. Where a lot of us, uh, we ache every day that I do that. I ache day and night. My, my husband has to massage me, has to, and I say, I cannot believe it. I ache every day. And then I found out that my siblings have the same symptoms. My mom, too. I know uh, we do need studies done. We need to get to the bottom of this. And then my my grandkids, my kids, some of them are getting the same ailments, and my grandkids too. I don't want to pass that on. I mean, that's nothing to pass on to your grandkids. Yeah, we have a grandbaby that uh, that was born like that too. She can't walk, and um, she has tube in her head to train all that looking from her head. So she's got a lot of things wrong with her. So we're all struggling. We're struggling with these, and nobody sees it. But what is wrong with me? Why am I feeling this way? I need help. I need answers. I need something. Because I told these people, I said, I'm concerned about myself. I'm concerned about my sibling. I have a son that um, they told, first they told me it was a tumor in his head when he was 12 years old. During the Cold War mining era, uh, on the Navajo Nation as well as within the Four Corners, uh, the Four Corner states. Uh, thousands of uranium miners had work. We fought in the Cold War. <laughs> you don't, you don't, you know, you can't visualize the Cold War, what it was all about. It was all political, uh, politician playing their politics. That, that's what it was, and we were at their expense. We've done our service to the United States by providing the mines on or from our land to the war, con contributions to the war. And we also contributed in the ways that our language was used. So there, we also contribute that way. So now, we are still suffering because of the wars of the United States. But yet here, we are suffering the aftermaths. And the government is not fair to us because of what we've done. Exactly. Our contribution is not recognized. And we would like that recognition. So yeah, um, I think it is time that we need to talk about these things, yes. I think it's time that it needs to be out in the open. All these men, Navajo men, who are hard workers. Now where are they? Uh, we're also here uh, requesting for congressional field hearing. Uh, Preferably in Shiprock, New Mexico, because that's one of the most impacted communities on the Navajo Nation. So what like our grandparents did was just like still work because back then it was it was a good thing because they were making a lot of money. And then later on it became a bad thing because it started affecting their health. And then they start started getting into the system and started passing on. 
if this isn't struggling and if this is not uh, affected by radiation I don't know what is if this uh, is if you don't call this a struggle I don't know what what, what struggle means think they might help out yeah I hope so because it seems like they said you know we're looking into it we know about it so well get on with it <laughs>